Now, tensions have flared up on the Serbia-Kosovo border and Serbian president has now ordered the country's troops in the region on full combat readiness, ignoring NATO's call for maintaining peace and calm. Country's Interior Minister made the true readiness announcement on Monday, a day after Serbia's army chief was deployed at the border and the Serbian minister said that he has acted on the orders of the president and that all measures are being taken to protect the Serbian people in Kosovo. Naređenje predsjednika Republike i vrhovnog komandanta Vojske Srbije i oruženih snaga Srbije naložio sam podizanje pune borbe na gotovosti svih jedinica Ministarstva unutrašnjeg poslova, žandarmerije, specijalne antiterorističke jedinice i politske brigade. Koliko odmah da se stavi pod komandu načinika generalštaba i posljednog položaja predviđena protivnog plana. Now on Monday, NATO-led peacekeepers posted in Kosovo said that they were investigating a shooting attack that took place in the country's north. The incident took place on Sunday evening in the town of Zobin Potok and the region has been witnessing heightened tensions in recent days after massive protests erupted against the firing of a Serb police chief. The peacekeepers, also known as the KFOR, said that the incident happened in close proximity to one of their patrols and that it involved unknown people. A statement later released said that no one was injured and that KFOR is working to establish all the facts here. Serbia has meanwhile asked the UN peacekeeping force to deploy up to 1,000 of its troops in Kosovo's Serb-dominated region. Belgrade claims that ethnic Serbs are subjected to harassment by ethnic Albanians who are in majority in the country. The request so far has not been granted. Kosovo has remained a potential flashpoint in the Balkans since the 1998-99 war ended with NATO intervention. Serbia does not recognize the 2008 declaration of independence of its former province Kosovo, while Western efforts to mediate in a, a solution have failed so far.